Hi, I'm Tony. Today on BFCS, we're going to be talking about beans. Um, we're probably going to go over a couple variety of beans, but for today we're going to be talking about pinto beans and then the overall preparation of those and how we're going to make them from these hard beans into soft beans. Now, you're probably used to the canned beans where you don't have to cook them or soak them overnight or do anything crazy like that. Um, those beans are trash. They're not as good. They're not as flavorful. So we're going to go over these beans and show you how to do them. They're easy enough. You just have to plan a day ahead of time. So if they've been sitting around too long, go to the supermarket, grab you some fresh beans. They're cheap enough. And you can buy a big bag of them and then keep preparing them like I do every other day. Um, for our pinto beans, we're going to be soaking our beans overnight. So we're going to take a container, anything you got is fine, as long as there's enough room in it. Um, we're going to need a lot of water. So I'm going to start with two cups of beans. And I'm just going to take it and run a double the size of water to beans. And then I'm going to let them soak for a while. Come back, check them in a couple hours, and see if the water's gone down too much. I'll just add some more water. So we're gonna take that water, we're gonna cook it, it, the beans in the water. So make sure you save any of the water, don't go draining it, keep the water. So let this sit overnight, and uh, make sure you check, and see if there's anything that isn't a bean in there. Sometimes you get rocks, sometimes you get like a piece of mud or something crazy, and then, uh, let these sit overnight, and then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll cook them. Uh, the beans have been sitting for a few hours now. Um, I had double the water on here before, and now we're close to being, you know, at the same level. So we're gonna add about a cup of water. There's no real measurement to this. But we'll come back, we'll add some more water to make sure that all the beans are submerged at all times. You don't want some of the beans sticking out of the water. But, yeah. On my watch. All right, so we're back to beans on day two. Um, the beans have been soaking overnight. They've become bigger. <laughs> they got bigger. Um, now I'll show you what else you need. So, I had a little onion half an onion cut up already, or no, this is actually a full onion cut up. Um, I had it in the fridge, so you need a cut up onion. And then we're going to take four cloves of garlic. And um, this is bacon fat, but you can use any fat you like. Um, bacon fat obviously is preferred for beans, just because of the smoky flavor. i really nice bacon flavor. Um, so we're gonna take that, we need that, and then um, I like to finish with a little red wine vinegar, and we will also need a good amount of salt. So take your garlic and chop it up. So for our for this, uh, it really doesn't matter how you chop this up. Um, for me and what we use it for, we end up blending this, so it turns into a uh, just a bean paste, anyways. But if you want to, you can get them relatively small, and they'll be fine. You don't need to, you know, wor worry about that too much. It, we'll be cooking this down in the liquid for a long time anyways but you don't want like huge chunks you just want little pieces but I'm not going to tell you how to chop things because you know this ain't that kind of show alright all cut up we got a pan over medium high heat 
um, we're just going to take the garlic and the onion and get a little color on there. So uh, take some of this bacon fat. Couple tablespoons of this. Put it in the pan, let it melt. onion. Say let your onion go a little bit before you add the garlic just so you don't burn the garlic. Spoon. And then I like to build seasoning so I'll be seasoning onion, a little bit of the garlic, and then once the beans go in, we'll adjust the seasoning to how we want it. Um, I'll be adding black pepper too. Forgot about that. But um, if you want them spicy, you can add any kind of pepper you want. It's up to you. However you like it. All right, we got a little color on there. Now we're going to add in our garlic. Add in some pepper. Salt. So you can add some cayenne to this. You can add paprika. You can add a bunch of other things. Um, I think I'm going to go more of like a chili, um, chili powder flavor, not chili powder exactly. I'm going to use fresh guajillo and some ancho chili. It's just what I have in my pantry, but we'll be adding that to this and then, uh, we'll end up doing that a little bit later. Just let them cook for a minute and I'll get this mess cleaned up and then I can blend up some of the chilies with the water and, uh, Get that into the pot as it's boiling should be fine. So I've toasted up some chilies, um, put them in a blender with some water. Um, we're gonna blend that up and add it to our mix. Oof. You can do it any way you like. Um, if you just want to do chili powder, <coughs> it's really in the air. <coughs> if you just want to do chili powder and 
um, some like cayenne or you can do the smoked paprika or something like that. That's plenty fine. Um, it's kind of like, a, you know, choose your own path on this sort of thing. As soon as you got the onions and the garlic and then the salt, it is completely up to you how you want them to taste. Me, I'm gonna finish with these chilies and some uh, red wine vinegar. I probably will end up adding either cumin, uh, I'll probably add cumin and a little bit of smoked paprika, but again, it's up to you, however you want. Make sure you season well. And once this starts to boil, turn down the heat. Uh, I can't give you a set time on when these beans are gonna be done. The beans will be done when the beans are done. You just have to keep checking them. Um, I'd say not before 45 minutes, you just grab them. Uh, take one out and smash it between your fingers. If it creams, like smashes really easily, no resistance or anything like that, they should be ready. But the beans are done when the beans are done. That and then, um, so I've got my chili paste in there, cooking away. And like I said, we finish them by blending them. So later on, we'll stick them back into the blender and blend them up again. But yeah, just make sure it tastes good to you, however you want. Um, some more salt for this one too. Like I said, this looks a little liquidy right now, but it's going to thicken up. And if you like it looser, you can add more water. It's up to you. It's pretty dang good. We're gonna add a little bit more salt and a little bit more vinegar. Good to go. Now you can serve this however you like. A little cheese on there. A little cilantro is great. I don't have any cilantro, but I'll definitely be putting some cheese on it. 